accepting this moment in time that your relationship has suffered a big break, that you know something that you didn't know before, that you probably don't want to know now, but you knew. It doesn't even matter. None of that matters. What matters right now is that you're still breathing. And I bet that that could be against all odds at time, but, but just keep breathing. I mean, just when you feel that anxiety overwhelm you, just... Just focus on the breathing. Three is the best, but whatever you're going to do, you're going to do. Do what you can. It's a small form of meditation, and it's an effective one. Focusing on your breath takes your mind off things. That's what all this is about, is how to control your thoughts so that you're not leading yourself astray in this journey. So when we talk about accepting what's happening and that your life is altered, now what should you do? Well, it depends on whether or not you're the one that's instigating this or whether you're the recipient of a surprise, we're getting a divorce. Either way, photocopy every single thing you find. Not even in a malicious way. Just photocopy it. Napkins with numbers on them. Um, I could get the light to shine just right on a three ring binder. <laughs> I'm the queen of investigation and I don't want to necessarily put you into that mode of investigation. But what I want to tell you is that um, you're going to need to do some investigation. Not necessarily to have this big Perry Mason moment in court. Um, and I would really hesitate from using the things that I find out as tidbits uh, to get a reaction out of my ex, but you really need to know what's going on in your life. And even if you're like, I don't know, I've never done this before. I don't know what to do, we handled everything. It doesn't matter. What matters now is the present moment. So when you see a napkin or you see a document or something comes in from the mail or anything, anything, everything, even if you don't think it matters, just take a quick picture. Take a quick picture, take a quick picture. Have an email dedicated to pictures with the most simple um, code words and, and passwords and numbers that anybody could guess it, but nobody that knows you knows that you have it and they wouldn't think that you would be that simple. You know what I mean? It's called, what it's called is accepting that you're going through some adversity and that now you're taking action because frankly, prayer... Um, action is the highest form of prayer is even though you want to be in bed and even though you're crying a lot and listening to sad songs and going through your memories and uh, you have fear right now you still have moments of coherent time that you can do a couple of things and that's all I want you to do I want you to breathe and I want you to take pictures of everything and just toss the shit in a box it doesn't have to be in nice, fine filters. I don't care. I don't know if your depression leads you to being um, super structured or super depressed. Don't let anything, don't be as the wind, don't be as the leaf of the wind going this way and that. Be present. It doesn't matter. You're in pain. Whether you're in pain thinking about tomorrow or yesterday, you're still in pain. None of that matters. We're not going to decide anything right now. We already gave up control, right? So... The only thing we can control is that when we see something with writing on it, we take a picture of it. Okay, if you want to start snatching documents, I think it's a great idea. But what's going to happen is, is once that's noticed, it's going to come back. So, yeah, snatch documents, definitely. I would take them away from the home. Uh, you would not believe the five-year game of hide-and-seek I had in my house. For everything that I had, it was... Uh, it was really, really ridiculous, actually. It just didn't even make sense, the things that people were stealing in my documents. And, you know, over the years, I would throw some things away, whether I wanted to or not. But it was always a big mess, and it was always on my mind. And it was a, what it was to me is it was a signal that I was out of control. So this is part of reining things into your own frame. It's part of not being the anti-hero of your story. It's part of not having your friend over and saying, hey, can you help me go through this stuff? This is personal stuff. Your friends don't have any business looking at it and nobody needs to know about your financials. 
Honestly, if you take nothing from today, please understand that you have to keep things to yourself right now. You don't have the judgment to know who to trust. You would be surprised at the people that are going to be on your side and off your side by the time this separation or divorce comes to conclusion. I mean, this the, the process of this and the thing that you're afraid of is the unknown. And what I'm here to tell you about is the unknown. I'm here to take the unknown away from you so that you can make um, educated guesses on how to move forward. And what I'm telling you is that right now, you are the biggest tool in your toolbox and it's you. Open up the lid on your toolbox and hop the fuck inside because you're it. Nobody's coming to save you. People will come to assess your situation and say, oh boy, the wailing and the gnashing of the teeth. They just can't believe this is happening to you. But that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is you are in a vulnerable situation right now. And people are either going to be repelled from that because they've got their own stuff to deal with. Or they're going to kind of suck in there to view you to see how vulnerable you are. And if they're in need, they're going to want to take advantage of that vulnerability. This is the human condition. I <laughs> Don't follow me if you can't be real. Don't follow me if you cannot get into this and understand that what I'm saying I've lived more than one time and what i'm telling you is the best thing you could do right now is kind of just be with yourself you're in a time of contemplation you've got a lot of things that you need to do and you're depressed so we've got like 15 minutes a day to work with right now so working from a dim light just take pictures just take pictures just take pictures don't make a ruckus don't respond to anything don't make any threats don't just just shut your mouth just just contemplate just think don't even watch don't even go take a shower. Ground yourself in the ground. Go out and fill the grass on your feet. When you wash the dishes, what kind of dishwashing liquid are you using? Be in the moment. And we'll practice that. And when you do that, you're meditating and you are connecting your self-consciousness. And guess what? The day is going to come that you're going to be row, row, row in your boat. And you're going to be like, shit, this is kind of merrily. And then there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And your kayak or whatever you're on is going to bounce the hell outside. And you're going to be like... I see you. You're going to see your best self. Living the best life. A life that you can't imagine from where you're at. And yes, you can do. Why can't you? Nobody said you have to go lay in the yard with the dogs. Who that? Miss Serena Bunting, I want to help you heal from your toxic relationship and move through it with grace and dignity so you can heal in less time. Pretty soon, I'll put my information in the link for now. Like and share if you like what I'm talking about. Thank you and have a great day.